Hello, my name is Olivia Romer and I'm a Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate Certified Consultant with TAG. Today I'm going to tackle an issue of concern within the construction industry. Subcontractor and Supplier Compliance Wouldn't it be great if my software could keep track of my sub and supplier's lien waivers, certified reports, insurance certificate, and any other miscellaneous items? What if it could notify me or my vendor when they are non-compliant? With Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate, all of this is possible. Included in version 13.1 of Sage Construction and Real Estate, Sage added a new feature called Subcontractor Compliance. First, you need to activate this feature within the software. To do so, you need to open up the Accounts Payable module. Go to File, Company Settings, AP Settings. Once you do so, you'll see a button down at the bottom called Compliance Settings. Here you can decide whether or not you want the software to automatically create conditional or unconditional lien waivers, or both. Decide when you want it to create those lien waivers, what the through date of those lien waivers are going to be, and what the final lien waiver is going to cover, whether it be an invoice amount or the total commitment amount. You can also determine the form that is going to print from your subcontractor compliance. In the Compliance Warning Settings button, you can have whether or not you want the warnings to display when you're entering in invoices or selecting them for payment or if you just want to block payment unless they are in compliance. You can do this for all four items, whether it be lien waivers, certified reports, insurance, or any miscellaneous item. A miscellaneous item could be something like perhaps you want to keep track of their contractor's license is current, or maybe you need drug test results for certain employees. To use subcontractor compliance, you need to set it up in two locations, one at the AP vendor level and one at the job level. So let's go into the AP vendor. If I go to Setup and Vendors, I'm going to pull up my vendor A1 Electric. If I scroll over here to the right, I'm going to see a new tab, Insurance and Compliance. If I click on that, I can hit Insurance, enter in all their insurance certificates and expiration dates, whether I require proof of that of insurance, and whether or not I require it per each commitment that I have with this particular vendor. I can also put miscellaneous compliance items. For this particular vendor, I need to have drug test results if they work in Multnomah County. I've selected this checkbox here because I want this vendor to have lien releases created for it based on whatever job they're working on. Let's take a look at the job settings I need to set up. If I go to Job Cost and I go to Setup and Jobs, I'm going to enter in my job number. And now you'll see this button called Job Compliance. In here, I can select which types of vendors I want to generate lien waivers for. If I have a minimum commitment amount before I want it to start generating lien waivers, in this case, a vendor needs to have a commitment with me of over $600 before it will generate lien waivers for me. This job isn't certified, so I don't require certified reports but I do require final compliance approval, meaning I won't issue them their final retention check until I've received everything I need from them. This particular job is in Multnomah County, so they're going to need the drug test results. I'm gonna enter in an invoice for A1 Electric. As you can see, it's warning me that I have three insurance certificates that are out of compliance for this vendor. If I want a little bit more information, I can hit the details button. This will tell me exactly which insurance certificates are out of expiration. So it's automobile, work comp, and umbrella. By hitting the compliance management, I can open up the hub if I've already received those insurance certificates and select that I've received them. Right now, I'm just going to choose to ignore it. I'm going to pick the commitment and right now it's telling me that in addition to having insurance out of compliance, I have four lien waivers I need and a miscellaneous compliance item that's associated with this commitment. Again, I can click the details button and get more information or I can open the compliance management window 
or I can choose to ignore. Now I want to select this vendor for payment. As you can see, the blue C's here are notifying me that there is some sort of compliance issue with this invoice and this vendor. So before I pay this vendor, I might want to find out what the issue is. I can do so by opening the compliance management window directly from the payment screen. And it's telling me that they have three insurance certificates that are out of compliance. To get to the subcontractor compliance hub, I can access it from two modules. I can access it from accounts payable or project management. To do so, I hit TAS, subcontractor compliance management. Inside, I will see a hub. This is separated by job and vendor. If I wanted to see everything for a job, I would just delete the vendor and it would show me all the vendors that have compliance issues. As you can see here, I have multiple unconditional and conditional lien waivers that I need to receive. I also have a paper clip here, meaning I can attach a scan copy of that lien release once I've received it. That way it's inside of the software for anyone to be able to view. I can also keep track of any certified reports, any insurance certificates, and any miscellaneous items. So on this job, I need drug test results and punch lists from all of my vendors. I can easily export all this information into Excel, or I can print it out. If one of my vendors is missing one of my lien releases, I can select the lien release, hit print, and automatically print out a new lien release to send to that vendor. As you can see here, I've opened up my email, and inside I have an email from Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate letting me know that I have vendors that have workers' comp insurance that's about to expire. I can also have my assistant send an email directly to the vendors letting them know that they need to get me their insurance certificates as soon as possible, otherwise it might delay their payments. Let's pretend I'm A1 Electric. I just received an email from my customer stating that they need all these lien releases from me in order to ensure timely payment. By notifying my vendors automatically when they're out of compliance and notifying me immediately when there's issues, with Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate and the power of my assistant, I saved myself time and money and I prevented myself from exposure from subcontractor compliance issues. If you'd like to see more videos on Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate, Sage 100 Contractor, or Contractor 5, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please feel free to contact us at Timberline at TeamTag.net or the phone number listed below. Thanks for watching.